Good evening and welcome to the Selectman's meeting for June 25th, uh, 2014. I'd like to call the meeting to order, please. Roll call, please. Carolyn Smart present. Colin McNabb present. And Sulicio present. I'd like to announce that the meeting is being tape recorded. Um, just an FYI, this is a short Selectman's business meeting that we're having from just starting at 6.30. At 7 o'clock will be our appointment with Kinder Morgan for their presentation. Um, item three on our agenda, review, recommend appointments to the Council on Aging Director Screening Committee. Andy? So the board uh, posted for a uh, screening committee to screen applicants for uh, the Council on Aging Director position. The, um, Council on Aging has put forth a number of names, Ed Snap, Valerie Adams, Dave Prophet, Russ Moore, and Stacy Shuttler. And uh, the board also advertised for two citizens at large, and Cheryl Simino and Susan Funioli have come forward and uh, put in as the, as the citizen representatives. And um, we also advertised for a um, uh, Council on Aging director from another town that would participate on an advisory and non-voting basis. And Sharon Mercurio, who is the Council on Aging director in Acton and the former director in Pepperell has come forward and uh, expressed a willingness to participate in that role. Do I have a motion? I would move to appoint to the Council on Aging screening committee, Ed Snap, Valerie Adams, David Prophet, Russ Moore, Stacy Schultz, Cheryl Simino, with Sharon Mercurio being a non-voting member. Second. <laughs> Been moved and seconded. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. So Ed has a question. Oh, I'm sorry, Ed. I'm sorry, could I amend the motion to include Susan Funioli? Second. Moved and seconded to amend the motion. All those in favor of the amendment? Aye. 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 My apologies on that. We had already printed up the agenda before we uh, got Sue's volunteer response. They for caught us on the way in. I'm sorry, we should have made sure you had it too. Okay, number four, review hiring of payroll clerk. Mr. Sheehan. As we, as we talked about a couple of weeks ago. Just a minute. Hi, hi, guys. If you want to have, hello. If you want to have a conversation, could you either try to do it real quietly? It's just that this room echoes a lot and I'm getting distracted. I get distracted easily. Thank you. Thank you. Um, as I noted a couple of weeks ago, Cheryl Simino, our longtime payroll clerk, recently resigned. We advertised for uh, uh, replacement for her. We received a, uh, I have a, there's a memo in front of the board members tonight. Uh, we received a total of eight applications. Uh, one candidate was an internal candidate in, uh, in the, name of Susan Bresnick, who works in the accounting office. Uh, Beth Ann Scheid, the town collector, Kate Stacy, the treasurer, and myself reviewed the resumes. And, uh, and just by the resumes, it was clear that uh, Susan Bresnick was far and away the, uh, the most qualified. I've met with Susan and uh, talked with her about the position. Uh, she's been with us for a couple of years and, and has proven herself to be very, uh, very competent, very good employee, very hard working. She also does the payroll using the same payroll software for the town of Dunstable. And um, so I'm recommending that, um, that the board appoint Susan Bresnick as payroll clerk at a starting rate of 15, 12 an hour. Any questions? 
have we given any thought to combining the positions at all, Andy? Did you discuss that at all? We did, and, and we were, um, um, we looked at, um, it possibly expanding the position to uh, include collections downstairs. Um, however, with the um, with Susan's, and, and we w and we looked at it for um, uh, in general for this position. However, with Susan's position um, in the accounting office, it would not be uh, it would be a little messy to have her doing collections and uh, and still doing accounting work. We're going to continue to look at that in the um, in the coming months. We expect that there's going to be some more transition down in the treasurer collector's office. So I think there's going to be some more opportunity to uh, to look at consolidation and um, and position realignment. So we'll continue to look at that going forward. But at this time, we thought that it was better to keep it uh, keep it pretty straightforward. The the uh, payroll piece of it is not on Vadar, our finance software. It's a completely standalone software, so there's no uh, there's no segregation of duties issues with the way that we're proposing right now to structure it. Well, I would move to designate the position of payroll clerk as a special municipal employee pursuant to the conflict of interest law, Chapter 268A. Okay, so you want, we'll do two Second. motions on this Correct. then. Okay. Been moved and seconded. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I would move to approve the appointment of Susan Bresnick as payroll clerk with a starting salary rate of 1512. Second. Moved and seconded. Any other discussion? Is that is that the same salary that she same hourly that she is making now? No, it's actually lower than what she's making now. She's a T she's a T three now. Um, the payroll clerk is a T2. So she's just going to be paid at the two separate rates? That's correct. All set? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Five. Review and discuss petition for special town meeting. Andy, I understand we've received um, a petition. Did we discuss it last time? We did. We did. Briefly, yeah. um, just so that folks know, um, it's a petition that we received from the public. Um, the town clerk's office has verified the signatures. Um, we're mandated to call a um, special town meeting. Uh, that would be to vote on a non binding referendum. Um, on whether or not to um, approve or oppose the gas, the gas pipeline. So, Andy. So the the petition came into us on um, received in the selectman's office on June 16th. We have under statute 45 days to call a special town meeting. The 45th day would be July 31st. Uh, I've checked with. John Barrett, the deputy moderator, and um, he has given me some um, some dates that he's not available. I also checked with Kathy Spofford, the town clerk. She recommended sometime after the middle of July uh, in order to provide enough time for um, late voter registration and, and things like that. So, in looking at um, in looking at the second half of July and looking at the um, at the times available, I'm, and I, Sue and I used, uh, spoke about this earlier. Um, in the second half of July, there are only five dates available, and um, three of them I'm going to be away. And if the board, I, it, it won't. This is kind of tongue in cheek. It won't, wouldn't break my heart if you wanted to have this special town meeting without me. But if you really want me around. Um, it would have to be uh, July 30th or 31st. I'll be flying back on the 29th. Um, what day of the week is that, Andy? The 30th is a Wednesday. Uh, I fly back on Tuesday night. Um, I'd 
prefer not to have a town meeting on Wednesday, um, but if that's the preference of the board, I'd certainly make myself available. I'm okay with Thursday. 31st, all right? Yeah, 31st is fine. Um, so we just need a motion to set the special town meeting for? Right, to set the date, and then um, um, if you want to sign the, the warrant tonight, it's, uh, it's in front of you. Um, I'm, I'm assuming it's a single issue town meeting, um, a single article for uh, the purpose of the non-binding referendum, but, um, but you can open it up if you want to. Open it up at a later time? Um, you, you could close it tonight, you could open and close it tonight, or you could open it tonight and, um, and give people an opportunity to submit warrant articles if there are other things to be submitted. Um, why don't we just um, move to open it, okay, and to set the, the day, okay? I would move to um, hold our special town meeting on July 31st, Thursday, July 31st, and to open the warrant. Second. Um, Andy, I just have one question. When would we need to close it by? Well, it it gets muddled a, a bit in this time of year with vacations and things. Um, we have to post it two weeks in advance, so we'd have to post it. The board would have to vote it really no later than the 15th of July. Um, I know you're not going to be around, Sue. So we are meeting next Tuesday. Um, if you wanted to set it you know, for the end of the week or something like that or, or by Monday, uh, we could incorporate anything that comes in into the warrant and have it on for next Tuesday's meeting for, for signing. Okay, that would be fine. No, I think that's fine. I just wanted to make sure that people understood that, you know, it's kind of a short time period. I would, sug I would suggest that you put a, a closing date. Okay. Carolyn? Sorry, this Friday. The... Um, 27th, yep. So that we can, so that we can put it on for uh, next week for vote. If we wait until after we meet next week, then we don't meet again for two weeks later. And then... That work for you? I, I thought yeah, you have to meet to do that. You have to have the, um, you really have to have the articles in hand to v before you vote. You can, you can sign it outside, but you need to know when you vote what's going to be on there. So if you did it for, you know. How about for Monday? Tuesday, 5 o'clock, or Monday, 5 o'clock. Monday, 5 o'clock. They should know. I, I, Monday the I have, I mean, I'm, almost inclined to just close it today. I feel like, all right, I know there's somebody out there talking about doing something else or, or submitting another article, so I will give them the courtesy of waiting until Monday at 5 o'clock. That's, that's how I feel, okay? And, and from what I understand, they should know what they're doing by Monday at 5 o'clock. I'm fine with Monday at five o'clock. So do I have an amended motion? And to close the warrant Monday at five o'clock, um, that would be June 30th. Second. Thank you. Um, all set? Ready to vote? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We have, yeah, we have, um, we have finished the preliminary business that the board needed to take care of tonight. Um, we're scheduled at seven o'clock with Kinder Morgan. So we're gonna take a brief recess and come back for the seven o'clock start, just to be fair to everyone, okay?